Hey, it's Paul Solt. I've got my iPhone here. This is an iPhone 6 Plus, and I'm going to show you how to get started with working with Xcode. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to Xcode Preferences, and then under General Accounts, this is where you can set up your accounts. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a new account. We can add our Apple ID, hit Continue and then type in your Apple ID. Type your password and then sign in. Once you do that, Xcode should automatically set everything up for us. Now, occasionally there can be issues when you're working with this. So in case there are, I'm gonna walk you through the process. So I'm gonna close that. And now when we stop and try and start our app again, it's still connected to the simulator. And what we want to do now is get our device set up. And since we don't have any devices set up, we now have to plug in our iPhone. So I'm going to unlock my iPhone. And when I do this, we can then plug in the iPhone. So we're going to see certain dialogues on the iPhone the first time you set this up. If you say no to some of them, like this one right here is really important. It says, trust this computer. We want to trust this computer. If we don't say trust, then we have to find how to do this later on. So just make sure that you hit trust. And now it wants me to type in my password. All right, so I typed in my password and now we're trusted. So now I wanna see if I can use the iPhone now, one of the things that we're going to see is it will take a little bit of time. Xcode, when you first connect a new device, likes to do some stuff with installing symbols and downloading things. And so when that's happening, we might not be able to run our application. So we can give it a shot. We can stop the simulator and we can select our iPhone from this list and we can hit the play button. And it looks like I have a build failure. All right, so here's an issue that you might run into. So this is saying code signing error. Signing for the app requires development team, select a development team in the project editor. So if you see this type of issue and we're seeing, it looks like it's the same issue, it's the code signing issue. When you see this, what you wanna do is click on the project navigator on the left, click on your settings, and then we should see this section. So once you've added your account, let's go ahead and change it from none to Paul Solt the personal team. So if this is your Apple ID, you should be able to set this up and Xcode will cross our fingers should allow us to get this working. Just gonna unlock my phone again. One of the other issues that you run into, and I'll show you what happens when we're trying to run uh, an iPhone app on a phone and it's not ready, it will not start. Okay, so we're gonna wait for this. It looks like we've got the certificate. So this is automatically managed by Xcode, which is super useful. And what's this saying? It expires in, in six days. So it looks like if, if I don't um, have a paid account, it's gonna last for about six days and then the app stops working and you have to reinstall it. So it's not something that's gonna always be working. And now let's see if we can run our app. We'll hit the play button. All right, so here we need to authenticate again. So we're gonna see this dialog. I'm going to click always allow because code sign is part of the development process. So we're just gonna click on always allow. And when we do that, we're gonna hopefully see this start up on the iPhone. But if we don't, we're gonna see another issue so we might have to give this some time. So if we see this message, just hit cancel running and we can wait. I don't know if we can stop this process. I'm not ready to try that yet. So before we do, let's go ahead, just see if we can try one more time. And if that's not working, I'll show you another thing that we can look at. So it still says it's busy. It's preparing the debugger support for iPhone. So Xcode can't run until that happens. I'm just gonna hit cancel. 
Let's go ahead and look at another window. So you're going to have to wait a little bit, it looks like, when you do this for the very first time. If we go to Devices and Simulators, this is where we should see the status of our iPhone. You can see all the stats about your iPhone, including its app identifier and all that goodness. Okay, it looks like it finished. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to try one more time. So if I hit the play button, you'll notice that my iPhone is currently off. So it keeps timing out. The screen doesn't stay on forever. And so now what we're gonna see is another error message that commonly pops up, and this is the unlock iPhone. Okay, so what we need to do is just come over to our iPhone. I'm gonna use my finger to authenticate and we'll cross our fingers and it doesn't work. All right, so there's another step. So it wants us to verify the app certificate for your account. So this whole message we need to do something about. In order to get past this step, now we're gonna have to go to the iPhone. So I am going to go on the iPhone. I'm gonna find the settings app. And then we're gonna to go to general. And at the very bottom of general, we're gonna scroll all the way down until we find device management. You're gonna click on that. We're gonna see your account name. So it says super easy apps right here. And then it's saying that we have to trust this again. So apparently this is different than the other trust. So what we'll do is we'll just hit the trust button and this will give us access to that. So let's go ahead and hit trust and it's unable to verify. Oh, it doesn't like that I'm in airplane mode. So let's fix that, I'll put on the Wi-Fi. And let's try that again, verify. So now it's communicated with Apple servers and we should be good to go. So let's hit the okay button, back on Xcode, hit the play button one more time And after we do that, we see that the app has actually launched on the screen. We can interact with the buttons, we can press them. And it's a little hard to, to sort of show that, but it is interactive and we're able to click on the keyboard. We see the keyboard pop up when I click on this text field. So our app is now running on the iPhone. All right, I've got one more video I wanna show you on just getting started. And that's how to run the iPhone without plugging it in. So you can see right now, I've got it plugged in here. There is a way to do it so that you don't need to plug it in, but you have to set it up this first time. So now that we've got it set up and in installed, in the next video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of how to fix that. Hey, this is Paul. Real quick before you go, I've got all the source code over here on the right. If you wanna download the source code, go to the link that's over on the right or down below, you can grab that code. If you like that, click the like button. Also, before you go, once you go to this site, you'll see a little form. If you fill that out, type your email address in here and click the download now button. That's gonna send you an email with all the source code. So just check your email in order to get started. All right, so this has got a lot of design resources from Sketch to PNGs to Xcode projects. is gonna be very useful. Lastly, click the subscribe button, which is over my head. If you want to get updates when I have new videos, I'm gonna be posting regular content on a weekly basis. And then last but not least, just like this video if you found any of the topics that I talked about helpful. I'm gonna be showing you the next step in the next video. So let's go do that.